Hello everybody, John here, and I've got some major problems going on. This is my uh, beehive, and uh, it swarmed a week or so, well, it's been a month ago, or more, and uh, it was doing really good, building up a lot of stores, and then all of a sudden, uh, it had uh, some queen cells. The queen left, but then she never came back. And I noticed that the hive was slowly starting to dwindle. So I ended up the last couple of days, I ended up ordering a queen from uh, Bee Weaver Queen Bees, and uh, they're supposed to be a nice uh, Varroa resistant, maybe bee. And I got her ordered over the weekend coming. And I just noticed two days ago before she got here that this hive had started to be uh, robbed. So uh, what I decided to do then was get them out of here and uh, make it possible then me to uh, go ahead and re-queen this hive, or put a queen in it actually, and try to get them to build their numbers back up. I did for the heck of it to make sure they were queenless. I put this bar of brood in there a week ago, a little over a week ago, and they ended up building a queen cell here. But it's not a very good queen cell really. They built one here and here. So what I want to do here then, I'm afraid that by the time that queen gets uh, bred and if it makes you miss it back, these here, that they will be too few a number of bees and this hive will die out. So I got my new queen. What I'm going to do is uh, get rid of these two queen cells here. I don't think you'll want them in there with the new queen. And then I'm going to put what's little left of brood on here. In with the, the new queen and we're going to see what happens here. sugar water and a little bit of lemon oil in them. everybody I've got a heck of a mess here it looks like uh, what I ended up doing I didn't want to sit here and film it all and watch me get stung so I uh, ended up taking uh, so about seven or eight bars out of here that had pollen and and honey on them and, and bees that were on them eating and I ended up moving them over here and I put them in my nuke box small it's only got like 10 or 11 frames in it and uh, I just wasn't feeling like there was enough nurse bees or bees in there maybe to take care of the queen. So I ended up uh, taking two bars of brood out of my A hive here. Uh, this is the hive that was kind of weak, but the queen made her back and she's starting to build it up. She's built it up enough that I was able to rob a couple bars. 
uh, a brood out of here and I put them in with her and there was a lot of nurse bees on them. So I'm hoping that uh, that little box has enough bees in it and the ones that'll be hatching out here soon that they can keep that hive going and, and as soon as they eat the, the queen out of there, uh, they, I took the plug out of the queen cage, they will hopefully then she'll be able to start lying and building that up. I'm going to move this uh, away from the, the homestead here about five miles. I'm going to let them open it up and let them stay there for a while and uh, take care of the babies and start laying again. And then I'll end up coming back here and putting those in here with my, in the original beehive. I'll clean it out uh, so they ought to be able to have a good home uh, back in here. Right now, sounds like the rains are coming so I'm going to kind of have to hurry here. I've got a lot of bees left in here and uh, some of them could be from the hive originally and I know a lot of them are probably robbing at the moment. Uh, I've never dealt with robbing before so this is the first and like I say my hive was uh, dwindling so much and if I would have been paying a hair more closer attention to it I would have been able to see uh, you know after about three weeks I should have made sure the queen was back. Uh, but they were doing so good and they were a large number of bees so they started dwindling I realized it and like I said I, I ordered a queen from uh, Bee Weaver Queens they're supposed to be uh, pretty decent bees especially against Varroa so first time I've ever done that I never thought I'd have to hopefully but you never know uh, how long something can go on or how the, you know the queen and she'll make it back and I, I'm just assuming that's what happened she got uh, Got into trouble and didn't make it back to the hive here, so uh, I'll uh, try to shoo the bees out of here and close this up so that and uh, Like I say, hopefully the other hives the other hives close enough that it's not being robbed Really my robber bees are not coming from this hive here. They're coming from the end hive That thing is just packed full of bees and I just first noticed all the commotion out here after there hadn't been any for a little while and they were flying from here over to here just back and forth and they were bearding up out there i knew that they was the ones robbing this hive so it's not really i don't think bees from a feral hives around and that's why they haven't robbed it out you can tell where they've eaten off some of the the wax off of the combs uh, you know and they're they're sucking up some of the nectar uh, so really as far as being robbed, you know, they might have robbed, a, a, I don't know, a tenth of the honey out of here at the moment at that. I've taken, uh, I'm going to take about seven bars out of here and process it. Uh, like I said, the rest of the last three bars I got in here, uh, there's just not a whole lot on them. Uh, I'll let them finish messing with them, cleaning them up, and then I'll have some bars in here ready to eat. But when I bring the queen back, she'll have room to, to either lay on or, or fill, I can fill it up with some honey. So. Anyway, more things that can happen in the bee yard. I just thought I'd film it again because this is something new. Uh, these bees are upset. I've been stung about three times on, the, on one hand here. Everywhere else, I'm okay. Uh, but like I say, I've really upset them. And if you hear that right there, that's thunder. So what I need to do is get this closed up. You got me right there, dang it. Spray a little her peppermint spray. This seems to really help. At least it gets that scent of that stinger out of the air. That's four stings on one hand. Anyway, uh, like I say, they're cantankerous. I'm going to shut this up. Thanks again for watching. Hey, uh, I just... Uh, when I watched the video of me uh, getting in with those bees, I was totally amazed at how many bees were attacking me. Uh, I've never had that experience in my life, and I could hear them while I was going through the hive, but when I watched the video, it looked like uh, several hundred bees, uh, or at least a hundred were coming at me, trying to get to me. And I you know, really know that that's never happened, like I said before, that, um, that many or that amount. And I know it's because I kind of had the uh, trifecta going on. I had a uh, queenless hive. I had a hive that was being robbed. And also, uh, it did appear as though the rain was a coming. And it did just a little bit later. So I was able to finish it all up before it did start raining. 
but uh, those bees were wild and uh, I was totally amazed uh, at how vicious they were to me and I'm assuming that most of the bees attacking me were the from the hive itself and not the robber bees um, you know it, it's just a lot of questions you wonder you know what's as going through this hive why and what was happening and who was in there but um, when it was all said and done and I was able to move the bees away from the hive uh, in my little nuke box uh, I checked on it the next day and there was I'm gonna guess approximately 1500 bees in there let's say uh, that were still clinging on some of the combs that was left and that was early in the morning so I know those were the actual bees from the hive there. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get them uh, back into the hive when I bring them back. That's still up in the air. Even though I didn't catch the fact that they were queenless maybe soon enough, uh, I still feel uh, like maybe I was able to have enough bees and barring some from my other hive there uh, that I can maybe uh, still get a, a colony out of this. If she starts laying some uh, brood down, uh, I do think I'll have enough time to get that built up enough and put back in the original hive that uh, I can put some of the honey back in there and comb and that they will have enough to make it through the winter. So another valuable lesson learned. And like I say, I just wanted to remark on how much chaos was going on there as I was going through that hive. So after that, I decided I'd come to a place. This is one of the few places that uh, I found a lot of peace in, in life. And here it is, the monastery in Ferdinand, Indiana, St. Benedict's for the sisters. Uh, beautiful place to be and very peaceful after that hectic bee adventure. Thanks again for watching and God bless you all.